everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to New to Wigs. This is a series that I've created for wig wearers that are brand new or those that are pondering, possibly jumping into the wig pond and exploring their options within the helper hair arena. First of all, thank you so much. If that is you, you've definitely chosen a playlist that I hope you will find very helpful. So this is kind of a wish I would have you know, wish I would have known kind of thing. And looking back, I think it would be really helpful to sort of focus and pinpoint those really, I don't know, key things in my head that I would tell myself if I could just talk to that person now before she ever started her wig journey. So now I have actually focused on these very points in these videos that you're in the playlist of but I thought it would be easier, uh, easier to find even. I'm, I'm hoping it's just easier. It's easier if you're looking for specific points and this way I can title each video specifically to this point or these points. So keep a lookout for these I wish I would have known videos because I'll be putting them out uh, pretty often. So this one is no joke. I think I probably would, would make this my number one I wish I would have known. And that is, you need more than one wig. This is obvious to seasoned wig wearers and even those that, are, that probably have gotten past kind of their brand newness. I really thought that one wig would all, it would be all I would need for a long time until maybe I was tired of it. I was wanting something else, a different color or a different style, but I could just do one wig and just wear it indefinitely until I was thinking it's time to try something else. And oh boy, that couldn't be farther from the truth. And I just did not know that. I just did not realize that synthetic wigs um, just do not last that long, especially if you've got one like I did in the beginning, and you're wearing it every single day. I uh, wore that wig out within weeks, maybe even, yeah, just a couple weeks. It, I, was, I just was stunned. And my first wig was actually Elizabeth by John Renault, which if you don't know, that is a 100% hand-tied wig. It is not inexpensive. And I wasn't even aware that wig sites like I know now have 30% off sales very often. I had no idea. And so I actually paid full price for it. I haven't paid full price since I found that out. I will wait until, you know, there's a 30% off sale. So, you know, I was counting on that one wig to um, really be my one for a long time. Like I said, until maybe I was ready to try something else. But I wore it every day. I, um, it was, I documented my entire wig journey right here on my YouTube channel from the very first video I made with Elizabeth. You could see I was bubbling over with excitement to my, um, my complete, uh, confusion as to how to keep that wig on my head to, oh my goodness, why is it looking different, you know, and why is the texture changing? And, oh, I put a product on it and now it's kind of feeling a little, what did I do? Did I ruin it? To, oh my gosh, I washed it and now, I mean, I documented everything. But if I would have known that Jill you have to know that you can't wear this wig every single day. You're gonna have to get a second and even maybe even a third wig, which by the way, it didn't take me long to jump on that bandwagon because once I got so excited over my first one, it didn't take me long to, to get so excited to try some others. I know many of you take a long time to figure out what wig you want. And you know, they're not inexpensive and everybody's budget is different, so that's all relative. But whether you're buying uh, a wig that's under $100 or several hundred dollars, you're gonna need more than one. And I recommend really not taking too much time in between to get that one, especially if you plan on wearing it pretty much all the time, then, you know, you're, you're definitely going to need more than one. And you can do that in lots of different ways. You can get the same one and just rotate them because you love it and you, you just are totally content. Then just get more than one and 
You can decide if you want to play around with color and all of that. But I definitely would rotate them. Like every other day, switch it out. They just don't last that long. That's going to be for a different video. That was the hard lesson. It also depends on so many factors. It depends on the fiber. It depends on the length, the style, how often you wear it, how often you wash it, how, often, how you care for it. All of that goes in to the pot when it comes to how long will this wig last. HD fiber wigs, again, I think all of those things still are variables. I think in general though, you can say they definitely break down faster, but if you have a shorter HD wig, like say my Ignite by John Renault, that wig lasts me for a pretty good long time because it's shorter and uh, you know I will have the breaking down and the kind of the nape can get a little prickly. You know they, that softness that you get when they're brand new, unfortunately, just doesn't last very long. But as for the general wig, it still looks very fresh several months later. My very first Ignite, I had it for over a year before I went ahead and ordered another one. So there are variables with HD fibers, but if you are into more medium, longer length wigs, um, boy, I tell you, HD fibers, oh boy, unless you only plan on wearing that wig for special occasions, you are going to be so disappointed in how long they last. So that's really you know, what it all boils down to is what can we do to lengthen the time that we have this wig that we can wear it um, because they aren't inexpensive. And so that is one of the things you can do. Definitely get more than one um, and rotate them. All right, stay well, stay healthy, and stay young at heart. I'll see you soon.